The impact of the nation's economic crisis is bearing down on a lot of families. CBS 2's Candace Crone is in Anaheim with a look at how some community leaders are stepping in to help. Pop-up food pantries like this one at Savannah High School in Anaheim have been bustling across the Southland for months as people hit hard by the coronavirus crisis struggle to make ends meet. This does help where we don't get out that much and to be in the stores because not a lot of people are abiding by the um, regulations of the mask and the six feet apart. It will uh, be uh, in my less in my budget to spend for uh, some needs in, in my house and then it will, it will help a lot, especially for my kids. Members of Saddleback Church teamed up with three local churches to hand out boxes of food and other essentials to some 800 families in need. It's been incredible how much the need has escalated. Um, we are actually giving out seven times more food and more locations and serving more families than we were before the crisis. Since the pandemic started, volunteers have handed out more than 700,000 pounds of food to some 20,000 families and they say they'll keep it up for as long as people are in need. Giveaways like today's are becoming more common as we enter into very challenging economic times. Governor Gavin Newsom painted a grim picture yesterday saying California would be $54 billion in debt by next summer. All state workers may get 10% pay cuts. $19 billion could be cut from public education. Newsom also vowed to fully fund unemployment benefits and protect health insurance subsidies to all poor and middle class families. The budget year we are projecting uh, that we will come in roughly at about an 18% unemployment number. This is simply without precedent. In addition to food, volunteers also offered folks prayer and spiritual encouragement. People we spoke with said they're grateful for the generosity. We're just blessed that um, that they do this, you know, to help uh, people and in, in, in the community. Reporting in Anaheim, Candace Crone, CBS2 News.